Good morning everyone, this is Miss Tang and today we're going to look at prisms and pyramids. So today we're learning to describe and compare prisms and pyramid and to be successful you'll need to be able to identify 2D and 3D shapes and be able to identify the faces, the edges and the vertices as well. So let's have a look at prisms. So a prism always has the same object at both ends or the same shape at each end and if you actually cut a prism in half then that cross section or that shape there will always be the same. So for example for this prism if you look at the shape at the front and the back it looks like it is a square shape and if you cut this in half down here kind of like a loaf of bread then it would be the same shape in that cross section. Same with this as well, the triangular prism. So as you can see, there is a triangle at the front, triangle at the back. If you cut this down in half, then you will still see the triangle shape. So that's what makes it a prism as well, okay? And also, a prism always has rectangular faces on the sides. Okay, so that's what a prism is. Now for a pyramid, there are faces on the side and they are um, triangle faces. And the triangle faces, the um, vertices, which are the corners at the edges, up the top, they will meet together to form an apex. So for a pyramid, we usually have triangles as the faces on the sides and then an apex up the very top and there will be a shape down the bottom as the base. Okay, so pyramids and prisms are different. So prisms have rectangle sides and then pyramids have triangle sides which meet up the top to form an apex. Now see if you can figure out which one of these are prisms and which ones are pyramids. Okay, let's have a look. So this is neither. So it is neither a prism or a pyramid. It's a sphere. And this is a cube. So it is neither because the sides because remember the prisms have rectangular sides, okay, so it's neither. This has rectangular sides, so it is a prism. This has triangular sides and it meets up the top to make an apex, so that is a pyramid. This is neither because it's a cylinder. A cone is neither a prism or a pyramid. This is a prism because of its rectangular sides. This is neither. This is a prism. Rectangular sides, rectangular sides, rectangular sides. And then if you cut it in half, then you will still see the hexagon as well. All right, let's have a look at what we are doing today. Okay, so a prism is a 3D shape where the two opposite faces are the same shape and the sides are rectangles. So here is a triangular prism. Two faces are triangles and the rest of the sides are rectangles. Now Rachel painted each face of the solids below and then stamped each face in a row. Color match each shape to its row of faces. So these are the different shapes and the different faces and all you need to do is figure out which one does this match with. So it's got a rectangle, rectangle, rectangle and triangle, triangle sides. So there's two triangle sides. So would this be a cylinder, a cube, a triangular prism, 
a rectangular prism, a hexagonal prism, or a pentagonal prism. So you need to figure out which one it is. Now I think this is definitely a triangular prism because it's got the triangles on the sky. So this would match up to this. So you can either um, you can either color code it and color this red, color this red, or you can draw it, or you can write it up to you. Okay. So if you're doing this on a piece of paper, you could do one a equals triangular prism. And then you move on to the next one, B. So have a look. There's a pentagon and a pentagon and one, two, three, four, five rectangles. See if you could figure out which one of these it matches to. Okay? You can always pause this video and then go and do it and then come back and watch the rest of the video and you can do the activities with me. Okay, so the next question. A face of a 3D shape is a flat surface a corner is where the edges meet so a corner or we would call it vertices as well so all you have to do is just match these labels so this front part is that a face corner or edge or face vertice or edge so you just write that in there what about this line here is that a face is it a corner or is it an edge what about this part here is that a face corner or vertice or an edge and you do the same thing with B. Okay let's have a look at pyramids. So all pyramids are named depending on what the shape of the base is, so the bottom of it. So this is a square base so that's why it's, a co it's called a square pyramid. So we have a look at the base or the face, there's an apex like we saw before, the edge the face and the corner or the vertice. So vertices are another name for corner. Number three, name each pyramid by connecting the label with a line. Look carefully at the base of each pyramid. So look at the base, look at the shape and see if you can figure out what are the names of these pyramids. So is it a hexagonal pyramid? Which one of these has a base shape of a hexagon? That's what you need to figure out. Which one is a square pyramid? Have a look down the bottom. Which one is a pentagonal pyramid? Which one is a rectangular pyramid? All right, next question number four. Complete this table for each type of pyramid. So you will need to imagine what it looks like for a hexagonal pyramid. You can always go back to these pictures here. See if you can figure out how many faces does it have? How many edges does it have? How many vertices or corners does it have? And then you do the same thing with a pentagonal pyramid, square pyramid and a rectangular pyramid. And you can use these down here. So have a think as well because you can see this is a square pyramid and it has four sides. So it has four triangle faces, one, two, we can see two, but two are hidden at the back. So there's four, and then if you add this bottom, then it's five. So this square pyramid has five faces, even though you can only see three, but two are hidden. And then you'll need to count the edges as well. All right, good luck. Off you go.